All right. I want to note that <laughs> I seen something that some news reporters said that Jeff Okuda, they they wanted to put the rookie up against Marvin Jones and Kenny Galladay, you know, that first day of full pad practice, I should say. And, um, yeah, I, I like that because they was talking about, you know, easing Okuda on in, you know, easing them in, try to make them go up against other receivers and stuff like that. And I, I didn't mind that because, and I know people was going to freak out like, oh, why is, why is he going up against the number five receiver on the team? Why is he going up against Marvin Hall or Chris Lacey or something like that? And I'm, and I'm like, they got an easy win. No, you know, they ain't had no rookie mini camps. They ain't had no OTAs. Not no real OTAs anyway. They ain't had none of that. So they they trying to get them up to speed or whatever. So I understand that. But Marvin Jones and KG, they specifically wanted to go against the rookie. They specifically wanted to go up against Okuda. The first guy, they, they line them up in front. And I commend... Kenny Galladay and Marvin Jones for that because a lot of veterans when they go up against rookies it they either be licking their chops like yeah I'm about to smoke him or they either be like that they'll be like I don't want to play a practice against no rookie he's a rookie he's a rookie he ain't good enough to play against me yet you know those snobby veterans they usually be like that they they wanted to go up against him first and I'm commend him for that because he need to get better that's how He's going to get better. He got to go up against the best. You know, he got to go up against the best. Marvin Jones and Kenny Galladay, the best receivers on the team. There's no, it's no debate on that. So, especially he'll learn even more going, going up against Marvin Jones because Marvin Jones is a veteran. You know what I'm saying? Marvin Jones been in the league for almost 10 years. So, it's he'll get even more experience going up against somebody like that. So... I commend them for that. Also, speaking of the Lions, <laughs> what do I think? Do I think we getting hyped up too much this season? I feel like we getting a lot of hype and a lot of love for some reason. I don't know why. Like, I mean, I understand Stafford coming back, so that plays a part. I don't want to hype this team up too much. I'm cost. I'm cautiously optimistic with this team. I want to. I want them to be good, but I don't want to be. You know how how I was last year. I was so optimistic. My chest was all pumped out, and I was all confident, cocky on the Lions winning the division and all that other stuff. And they burned me badly. <laughs> this year, I'm taking a whole different approach. People think I, I don't like the Lions no more. Some people think, oh, why you ain't talking about the Lions like like hyping them up like other people is on Twitter, you know. I'm not being no slappy either. I don't want to hype them up too much. But I, I do got some optimistic optimism about this team. Nonetheless. I do. But I'm I'm cautiously doing that. Cause in the back of my mind, I feel like this team could burn me again. I want I want this team to do good. I want them to make the playoffs. Do you let me know what you think in the comment section below? Do you think us Lions fans is hyping up the Lions too much? Do you think the media is hyping up the Lions too much? I'm here, I'm even seeing ESPN giving us praise talking about the the team that can go from worst to first. Well, it's it could be the Lions. I'm seeing NFL Network like. I can see the Lions coming up and winning the division. I, I seen all this stuff. I seen it. I ain't never seen the Lions get this much love in all season ever by anybody, by by either the NFL fan base, the Lions fan base, or the media. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, there's some people that still completely just pessimistic and gonna say two and fourteen draft. Um, Terrence. Um, Trevor Lawrence and or Justin Fields and get rid of Stafford and all that stuff. And I'm like, I don't know, man. It's it's too quick to tell. It's too early to tell. But I got a feeling, like I said, to prime time B, this team gonna really be they either gonna be really good 
or really garbage. It's no, it's no in between. I don't see the Lions being a mediocre, like in the middle of the pack team. I don't see it this year. I see them either being really good or really bad. I'm leaning on a good side more than the bad though. This team, you can see this team got talent. They got talent across the board on the offensive side of the ball. Defensive side, it's still some holes there. It is. And Patricia's scheme isn't exactly, you know, like his his game last year was horrible. I'm not gonna lie. His game last year was horrible. I didn't like Matt Patricia's scheme. It was garbage. 2018, his defense was much better. It wasn't like it wasn't this terrible. This, last year was terrible, but I don't want to get into that. I already talked about that a thousand times. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think we're getting hyped up too much? Or not hyped enough? Let me know what you think. I'm out of here.